back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Playing Feed the Beast Unleashed with Maligner. Sun's coming up. Got a little buddy right over there. We're going to ignore him. He's going to take off here in a minute, I think. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to get started on our mine. I've grown a lot of trees. Did that off camera, and I debated doing this off camera. Got a bunch of ladders. We're going to make my standard mine shaft. I alternate between stairs and ladders um, when I decide to make things. But we're going to do ladders because this mountain doesn't have this. Uh oh, that's not going to help. This this mountain doesn't have the space that I need to do stairs. Occasionally, we're going to put a little torch down. This might be a little bit boring. I, I debated, like I said, debated doing this off camera, but you know, just so you understand the process, so you understand my, my focus and my goal, this shouldn't take too long. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dig all the way down to bedrock. That uh, one ore up there is going to be a problem, but I'll work around it and then I'll take care of it eventually. I was hoping to actually, ah, it doesn't matter. I was hoping to find um, materials that I could use. Particularly um, quartz, which is used in um, applied energistics. One of the early, um, one of the early things you can use quartz for is to make a grinder. It's really boring. You grind materials by hand. A lot of people probably wouldn't stand for that. I don't really blame you for not wanting to grind by hand. But at the same time, doubling your ores early is very, very, very useful, in my opinion. And the materials it takes to make a pulverizer and macerator and the necessary power equipment just it's just pales in comparison to be able to make a hand grinder assuming you can find it in three dust three quartz dust so we're not even halfway there this might have been a little bit too boring subject matter but we're gonna we're gonna see it through real quick I'm gonna do it as quickly as I can and yet as safely as I can hopefully I won't fall through the world here or not through the world but into a cave or cavern I don't see anything on the minimap coming up yet. So I think we're okay. Now this can this can seem very boring, but it's a very compact design. Having ladders, a ladder shaft. And um oh wow, first pole. Good, good, good. Uh but because it's compact, I think it's gonna work best in this situation. But it's not just the compactness. It's it's going to allow me to make very precise um, mine shafts, manual mine shafts. We'll we'll get into some automatic mining at a later date. But early on here, uh, the mine shafts I like to keep them, you know, organized. Routine size, so that's going to be the focus. Uh, in addition, we're going to use Tinker's construct. If you're familiar with it, you probably know why we're going to use it. Um, if you're not familiar with it, well, you're going to prepare for a treat because you're going to learn about a really great mod, in my opinion. And you know, honestly, Minecraft has so many good mods; it really does. I will say real quick, no offense to the author of Hats Mod. That's not my thing. It's distracting for me. Um, I don't really care about finding hats, and that's just a personal preference, and I fully understand people that want it. I'm not trying to poo-poo it, but I do have Hats Mod disabled. It's uh, just something I don't care about. You know, it's 
not my agenda. Not necessary, not needed, not not gonna happen. <laughs> so we are approaching ground zero. And this was possible. Oh wow, I almost jumped on that. Let's jump up here and let's see if we can get down one more square. That was a little bit dangerous. Whoa! Truth is, I should be able to see lava on the map if there were lava right here. Well, looky here. Wouldn't you know something would stop my progress? Okay, so we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to stop here. But that's okay. That's not a bad, bad way to stop. So I need a, an iron pick for sure. I almost made one before I came down here. And really, I honestly, I should have. And I just thought, nah, maybe we'll find some quartz first, and then you can grind it up. And if you don't, then you can make a, an iron pick. Um, it's only worth a couple ore, but early on, a couple ore can really help speed things up. But since I found all these ores, I'm not going to worry about it too awful much. I'm just checking my progress here. If I miss a spot, it's not a big deal. I have plenty, plenty, plenty more ladders. Plenty more. The one thing I have is this one block up here. Block. Whoa. Yeah, I got that too. I forgot to fill these in. Wasn't paying enough attention, was I? Not too surprised, though. You know, they teach in the military to pay attention to detail. I know to pay attention to detail. But knowing it and doing it are two different things sometimes. <laughs> and uh, here I am, not paying enough attention to detail. place ladders right away. Ah, daggone, I missed the top one. Alright, here we are. So, mission accomplished. We got some more wood growing. This is actually going to be the last tree in this spot. I was just using the available space to grow trees, and I don't, I don't really want a tree sitting right here. Uh, famous last words. So I'll grab some more wood get these uh, leaves to deconstructing or uh, deteriorating I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, I got a little bit of stuff there. Not really much of anything. All the good stuff still down there. Can you believe? I'm just going to dig through the ground the first time and get me some diamond. Isn't that just great? And um, in the future, just so you know what we're going to be doing later, back where I started, there's an area, Badlands, or I think it was where I started. It was somewhere back that way. You may have to find it. Uh, lots and lots of clay. Lots and lots and lots of clay. So we'll be making a clay run, running over to find some clay. It was to the west, I believe. Let's check the map. Across the snow, yeah, I can't really tell. There's all that gravel down there. I do that all the time. I always hit escape when I want to leave the map. Let me cut this tree down real quick so we can get these saplings. You know, I'm kind of a nut about that. You know, I talked about efficiency. A lot of people they just cut a tree down and then they leave. <laughs> they cut a tree down and then they leave. No pun intended. So a lot of people do that. I always try to get all the saplings I can because I can use them for various things. So that gravel right there, we're going to use gravel. We're going to go get clay. 
and we're going to need sand. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't think there's a whole lot of sand nearby. There's some right up to the north, and which is a good little bit, but it's a little deposit like that for the kind, you know, the way you destroy the land or you know, you you tear up the the way things look. But I'm probably going to have to take some of that sand some of that sand. I don't know about this. There's hardly any there. I might take some of that and fill it in with dirt. That's probably what I'll do. But up in that area, which I think that was called the Heathland, there's probably more sand deposits right along the river, too. So we'll make a run where we go get sand and clay and gravel. Probably several runs. I'd like to get some protection first. That's not going to happen. Sun setting, which tells me it's beyond or coming up on a 10 minute video. So, just so you know, there's nothing in here really. I did have a creeper, I was over on that hill over there. And I was cutting down a tree, and I looked over, and a creeper jumped down and ran in there. And I thought, oh well, you know, I'll deal with him in a little bit. And I came over here to cut down a tree, and I looked out, he's nowhere. And I'm messing around, and boom, knocked a big hole right here. But you know what? He barely, t he barely hurt me. So uh, filled in the hole. Everything's fine. That doesn't happen very often. So as the moon rises, I think we'll call this another short episode. There's not a whole lot going on here. I'm gonna do a little bit off camera. Going forward, I'm gonna finish pushing this mine shaft through. I'm going to deal with that block right there. I'm going to straighten out this ladder. And I'm going to take this all the way to bedrock. And then I'm going to start making my mine shafts. Uh, gather a few resources. I'm probably not going to do some ser serious mining yet. I don't really have the tools. Um, I'm still, I really, I want to get some more wood and I want to start building a structure of some kind up here. And I may or may not do that off camera. I'll probably at least get the foundations. I mentioned that last video. But I decided to get the mine shaft made first. So that I can get some other materials. And also so it gives me something to do while these trees are growing. Because I need more trees. I need more trees. 